Bona tarda, Hansi, aquí, Marc Brau de Barçaguany. Aquí, què tal, com estàs? Demà, partit a un estadi que habitualment hi ha un gran ambient, evidentment l'Estrella Roja no ha començat bé aquesta Champions, ha perdut els tres partits. Arribeu amb sis victòries consecutives, ho dic perquè segurament l'equip sap que demà té una bona oportunitat per tornar a guanyar, però m'agradaria saber tu que has viscut aquest ambient com a entrenador del Bayern, no? I can ask you in English, if you want. No, no, it's okay, but... Translation in English? Are you ready? It's, um... You know, in Champions League, um... I hope that that is the right question. That's the right question, okay? Um... So in, in this new new Champions League uh, tournament, it's it's um, it's very important to to win, of course, and and we know that that um, that it will be a tough match tomorrow because um, they are a good team. They like to to play football. They have um, fast strikers, and and so we have to take care about that. So, but uh, our goal is to win, of course. Um, when you were playing at Bayern Munich and in the temporada sincera at the Bundesliga. Els rivals van caure, segons dades oficials, 103 vegades en fora de joc. 103 vegades. Ara ja, amb el Barça, han provocat 99 situacions de fora de joc dels rivals. Tenint en compte que aquesta és una marca de la seva manera de jugar a futbol, a què creu que es deu aquesta diferència? És més fàcil fer-ho amb els jugadors del Barça? És més fàcil perquè hi ha un bar que funciona perfectament? A què atribueix aquesta gran quantitat de fores de joc en els que cauen els seus rivals. Ok. You know, I don't care about these things, you know, about statistics. It's our idea how we want to play football. So it seems like we are really well connected with every part of the team. So from the defense, midfield, and also the strikers in the defense, but also in the offense. And I think it's um, our last four and also also the whole team are, are doing really good at the moment and, and hopefully uh, it's also they, they're doing the same tomorrow because it's, it's uh, very important for tomorrow. Um, so that we, we uh, have pressure on the ball and uh, this is uh, what we want tomorrow uh, because uh, we know that they, they love to have the ball and, and um, if they have no pressure then it will be dangerous for us. You said after the game against Espanyol that you wouldn't accept a uh, um, performance from the team like you saw in the second half against uh, Espanyol. Uh, what have you told the team these days? What do you expect from them tomorrow? And considering uh, that um, the, the, the team is playing so well and it's achieving so many good words from the rival as well, today the, the coach uh, said that uh, it's the best team in Europe right now. All this scenario, how can it affect the, the performance of the team tomorrow? You know, this is, um, I, I said uh, on Sunday after the match, I said it, this also to the team that, that I, I know we, we uh, performed really fantastic the last, the last month, so till, till uh, also in the first half uh, against Espanyol. And this is uh, this is normally the the quality the team has, and and uh, the second half, I, you know, I also played football, and I also know what what happens about when you when you when you uh, three zero in front, and, and everything it's, it seems like easy, and and uh, so we have to accept it. Yeah, for for Sunday was okay, but but now it's a new it's a new uh, competition, so it's a Champions League, and and I think everyone knows uh, how important is it to win. Uh, and our goal, and maybe also for uh, a lot of other clubs, are um, to to end this this competition with a, in the final eight, so um, that you have less less matches in in, in January and, and February. So this is this is our goal, and um, I think that the team is is doing good, and and also what we focus on that we we, we show them um, about the things we did not so so well. Um, but we think always positive, and, and uh, I'm really sure that uh, we are tomorrow. We are we are we play another style like like the second half. Barcelona is one of the greatest teams in Europe, but in the last years it's very difficult uh, win away the stadium. 
What is the reason? What is the explanation? It's not normal Barcelona win at home, but it's very difficult in the last year win away. But I think you can imagine what I say. No, you know, I, I don't take care about, about the past. I, I take care about now what happens. And for the future, not so much, but, but we're really looking forward. And I, I always say, you know, the, the team now is doing great. And, and I think to compare it with the, with, the, with the past, no, I don't make this. Because uh, now it's our time. And now we want to, to, uh, to play or to be more successful in the Champions League, also away. So we... we um, Tomorrow is it's a good uh, a good day to do it, and, and uh, this is the focus. Um, my question is about Gabi. Um, when um, you think Gabi can play um, a game for um, 45 minutes, approx one two uh, match. I don't know. I, I spoke with him, and, and uh, he totally agreed that we go step by step. You know, step by step. <clears throat> Sorry, um, have more minutes in, in every match, so it also depends about um, how, how the, the match is going. So um, also we we think about uh, the last match against Espanyol that you bring him uh, earlier in, and uh, but it, it's it's uh, like that. Um, um, but but he's doing good in the training. But also you can see in Espanyol against Espanyol the last the, the minutes uh, he played, he's doing good. You have more ball control, um, and also against the ball was was good. He wins a uh, really important uh, one against one situation, and, and this is what, what we expect from him. Are you pleasantly surprised at how quickly you have adapted to your new role in Barcelona under another spotlight coming from Germany, that you are uh, really last, like you said, last month, month and a half, been uh, kind of clicking on all cylinders. Are you surprised pleasantly that how quickly that's come about for you given all the changes in the new country and the new club? So when we, before we arrived, we, we, we analyzed the team, every player, and, and uh, what we saw there, um, that we have a really good quality. And um, the other thing is, um, that also, if you want to implement a new, a new philosophy or a little bit to change uh, things, idea how we want to, to defend or also to, to attack, um, you, the players um, have, to have to feel good about this, and, and they do this. And um, I think also the, the results when we start this uh, helps a lot. <coughs> also, also um, in the preseason in America, we had good results with a with a really young young team, and um, yeah, it was was good. I think the start was good, and and also the players um, they like this style to play. You can see it, and and uh, I think so. So we, but we have a lot of things uh, where we can improve, uh, and this is our this is our job to do that. I have a question about goalkeepers. I would like to ask you about Wojciech Szczesny. He is playing for Barcelona. He is working in Barcelona since one month. I would like to ask you, what do you think, what are the differences between Wojciech Szczesny and Iñaki Peña? Tech is, uh, <clears throat> you know, he, he trained, I think, for, for two months not. So it's, um, but he's, uh, I, when I spoke with him, I can feel that he's a really good guy and, and also... He's totally accepted in the team, and he helps uh, Inyaki, but also the other young goalkeeper. His uh, his personality is it's very uh, really good, and and uh, for for every team, it's perfect to have a player like him. Uh, I think also, if we need him, I think he will be right and uh, to play, ready to play. And uh, this is uh, was also our goal to have one player, you know, um, like him. Very experienced player, and also give uh, give us um, a little stability. Also help the players, the goalkeeper, the other goalkeepers, and he's doing his job well. After the match against Bayern de Munich, a lot of people in Barcelona is saying, "Okay, Barca is back in Europe. We can fight for winning the Champions League." Um, you always said to us that we have to think positive. So you like the people who who dreams on this, and you dream on this as well. I think it will be um, 
a lot of work till till that uh, happens. <coughs> and I now and, and I also know that there are really fantastic teams. Also, they have the same idea uh, at the end of the Champions League um, competition. So I think it, at the end, it's it's better to work hard than to 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 speak about about that. So this is our our way how we want to handle it, and and we work and we. Uh, Going by every match, um, yeah, focused on on that uh, what we want to do, and this is also for tomorrow our plan. Uh, have you started to the, to think about the points uh, need to qualify uh, without problems? No, 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 no. This is we don't know that. You know, 15, it's changed, it changed. No, it changed a lot. So, so what I said before, it's important to to now to win matches. Uh, you know, after. After the match against Bayern Munich, it, it changed a lot. So we are we're on the table. We are now. I'm not sure. I don't know exactly the the position we are uh, because it's it's uh, you know we are we're starting just and and uh, for for me it's uh, it's important that uh, we finished uh, the the eight matches in January that we are yeah in in front uh, not not the first but it could be but uh, also the first eight. I think it's uh, it's a um, it's a goal we can reach and, and we want to reach it. How do you feel when a player like Fermin says uh, one of the main keys of this success of Barca is Hansi Flick? Well, so this is you know I I, um, I have a fantastic team. Um, what I have what I said before it's, it's like Deco also make a great job because. Um, because he um, yeah, renew the stuff around around the team and and it, it I think it was one of the the reason also why why we are working together really really very good also my my coaching staff um, the analysts and everyone is doing a great job but at the end I can can say that that I also um, can say that the players are doing great. The players really, it's, 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 it's every training, it's, it's uh, great to see. And we appreciate a lot uh, what they are doing and uh, when we want something from them and, and they are directly go this way. And this is, this is really unbelievable. And, and it's, at the moment, it's really a good feeling to train with this team and everyone. It's, it's not only the young players, it's all, also the experienced players are, are going in front and, and uh, help the young players. And this is, this is for me, it's um, yeah, how our team works. So everyone together, well connected, on the team, on the pitch, but also away from, uh, from the pitch. And, and at the moment it, it feels really good.